Hey everyone, it's Hannah Musette here, and today I am showing you guys my most highly requested video. Obviously, since you guys clicked on this video, you know what it's about, and it is my skincare routine. This has been so highly requested since last year, and I've done a little bit of skincare routines here and there, but this is probably the one that I will be sticking to for sure. So the first thing I like to do is I take a makeup wipe or a face wipe and I like to clear off all the makeup maybe that I have on my face from yesterday, uh, all the oil, the dirt, uh, whatever else I have on my face from the previous day, I like to just make sure that it's all off of my face before I go ahead and wash my face with the cleanser, if that makes sense. Christmas my mom gave me this little pore cleansing thing a year ago and I just started using it and I should have used it sooner because it works really good for my skin as well as this cleanser that I use it's from clean and clear and it's a night relaxing cleanser I used to use the green bottle from clean and clear but I guess they don't have that anymore so I had to look into another cleanser from them and this one works decent for my skin it doesn't cause any flare-ups it doesn't create any acne it just keeps my skin looking neutral which is what I like I use this little pore thing so that it can kind of get in my skin a little bit deeper than using my hand for my preference I like to use this to make sure that I'm really getting that stuff out of my skin So since this is an in-depth skincare routine, I'm using these Bouillore pore strips. And if you haven't used a pore strip before, this is just something you put on your face so that it takes out all the gunk, the blackheads, and whatever you might have stuffing up your pores. Usually when I use these pore strips, I would have so much stuff being pulled out of my face. It would be so satisfying, but so yucky to see. Um, but since I used a pore strip days before this, my skin probably didn't have enough time to accumulate more nasty stuff to pull out. So this was a bummer. So part of everyone's skincare routine should include an exfoliant. Mine includes this Bliss Pore Patrol exfoliant and it's very, it's very different than other ones that I've used before because this actually warms up on my face while I'm using it and it smells really good. It smells like peaches and it just makes my skin feel super, super soft and clear afterwards. <laughs> Usually for my face masks, I use this Bliss Pore Patrol Deep Detoxing um, Face Mask. Rose Water, the new hype for toner. Tried it out, I love it. Just make sure if you're going to get Rose Water that it has about three ingredients at the most because I found out that Rose Water needs to be Rose Water. It doesn't need to be Rose Water. Uh, this and that ingredient I can't read what is this ingredient you know what I mean so real rose water should just be rose water and it actually helps my skin reduce the redness it soothes my skin and it smells really great during the day Battle of 
the face creams. Which one am I going to use? So I have this vitamin C face cream and I also have this rose face cream. So the vitamin C I use before I go to bed because vitamin C actually increases the collagen in your skin which gives you firmer skin and kind of smooths out fine lines and wrinkles. And it actually helps free the radicals and damage caused by UV radiation. So as a Floridian, I kind of needed that a little bit because I'm outside a lot and I don't want to get sunspots as I get older. But this rose facial cream actually works really, really good on my skin. It helps hydrate it. And I actually used a little bit too much in this video because a little bit of this goes a long way and it just leaves my skin looking really fresh and clean. I use that in the morning and the vitamin C at night. So I heard of this jade roller. I guess it's a new hype and this is a hype that I love and I'm going to stick with it and I think you guys should too. I'm gonna speak about that in a second. But I use vitamin E oil on my face at night probably better to use it at night because it's so thick and it makes your skin look super oily vitamin e heals the scars on your face and if you have acne scars if you have dark spots it's going to help improve the appearance of those dark spots and scars and also it moisturizes your skin so that's why you should just leave it on your face at night if you're going to use it it makes my skin feels like a baby so i use this roller to smooth out that oil but also this roller actually um circulates the blood in my skin so it just takes care of that puffiness inflammation i feel like i look younger when i use this and it even works better whenever you take it out of the fridge so that it's cold and i love it so much Since we're on the topic of skincare, ladies, for 2019, we need to have these men clean their face, exfoliate, at least exfoliate, because most of these men are just walking around the crusty little things built up on their face. They think that taking care of their skin is going to tarnish their manlyhood, and I'm sitting on Twitter so disgusted, because like, most of them think that they can't wash their face, but shout out to the ones that do. 2019, we're leaving men in 2018 that don't know how to wash their face. This is my skin afterwards. I zoomed in super close to show you guys that my skin is not perfect as people might say it is. I have a little bit of baby pimples on my left side of my face. I have dark circles under my eyes. I have red spots. You guys to be well aware of that before I ended the video. By no means is my skincare perfect. I just try to make it that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.